Yo, what's poppy gamers? Welcome back to a brand new gunfight video. And today I'll be showing you guys the most broken weapon in the game and is by far, in my opinion, probably the best. It literally feels like you're dying to a sniper when you die to this thing. Uh, that's how broken it is. It is the M14E2. It only costs 250 credits, which isn't, it doesn't take too long to get that. And this thing is so busted. Let me just go ahead and show you guys. So overall, the gun model looks great. It looks very, very good with the camo as well. The irons are pretty good for those of you that care about aiming, but the recoil isn't too bad, but it doesn't look that great when you fire while aiming. But we're not gonna worry about that. Nobody cares about getting kills while aiming, all right? But what you guys have noticed is how fast this rate of fire is. Oh, 50, 50 damage. 50 damage to the body, might I add. That is crazy. I almost got pre-fired right there. But yeah, this gun is absolutely busted. I hate this map though, so I might have to rejoin. But this thing is basically two-shotting, which is insane. Oh my god. It's actually so busted. <laughs> I'm just deleting people off my screen. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking Three people gone in a matter of literally split second. This gun is so busted. And all I ask for you guys, since I'm showing you guys this thing, is to please not absolutely melt me with this thing you've seen me in game. It will be much appreciated because this thing is hard to play against. I will say that. It's also very annoying. It feels like you're going up against a one-shot sniper. That's how fast you die to it. I don't know. It's really hard to beat. Truly, your best chance of beating this thing is using a sniper. So, but this one's a lot more fun than the sniper, in my opinion, because you just have a ton of bullets to spray people down with and a very fast reload. And honestly, they can really nerf any gun in the game by just adding a longer reload to it because a reload really does hurt you a lot in terms of gameplay because it slows down your entire game especially in this one where like the spawns are pretty close to each other and people just keep spawning in the same area uh you find yourself in a situation where you have to run away and try to reload and you just can't unfortunately got quite a few right here oh my back up real quick call this in right here boom i'm big brandon right now I can't shoot any of these guys because... What the? Okay. Call this in. Boom. Dead. Boom. Not dead. Okay. Okay. Call this in. Boom. What? Gone. Reload. Oh, this guy's trying to hit me with the jump. Let's back up. Reload. Oh, he's got no. Where did he come from? Hit their UAV real quick. He's gone. Let's push up. Okay, reload. Dude, the reload is also so fast. That's what I. That's that's honestly what's crazy about this gun. Not only does it do 50 damage to the body, you also have that insanely fast reload. It just puts you right back into fight instantly, like so fast. on oh my god bro sometimes these explosions be right on top of people and does nothing i swear all new av Oh, I got instantly absolutely obliterated. Yeah, but I'm already catching up to the guy in first place and we started playing a little late. Both those guys gone. That guy gone. Another triple kill in the matter of seconds. There's a fourth. Okay, getting shot in the back. Two down. All this in. Nice. Drop this. Oh, I got to reload. Good thing we have our bubble. 
Got him. Drop another bubble. Nice. Drop another bubble. Oh god. I thought I was gonna get it off in time. They could easily counter me with their new tube right here too. And they're just not doing it for some reason. Wait, wait, boom. Nice. Oh, I was gonna get more right there. Hey, we almost got to the nuke with like very little time. This thing just kills so fast, man. We almost have enough for the sentry gun. I wanna get that so badly. I'm very, I'm very curious to see how many kills it'll get me passively. Like how long will it take people to take it out if I can get more than like, I, I would say if I get more than eight kills with it, like if I can get like 10 every single time I place one, that is worth it to me because it's not a guarantee that I get 10 kills with like a noob tube, for example. There is times where I can get like crazy, like sprees with the noob tube where everybody piles up, but it's not a guarantee. If a sentry gun can guarantee me quite a few kills, it's pretty worth it. Cause that's, that's a few more kills I could passively get without av actually having to try, which is the goal here, especially if we're trying to drop nukes. Um, drop this. This will actually put the weapon to a real test from further ranges. So far, it's doing pretty solid. We are having to use quite a bit of ammo, though. Because I suck at aiming. Goodbye. He's dead. Get the ammo up here. My reload stopped for some reason. Got two. Guy close. Got him. Dude, like, what are these damages on the noob tube, man? See, that's why we're getting a sentry gun. We need to get rid of that. No more, no more of that. That's annoying. Why are they just sitting there jumping? Oh my God, goodbye. Oh, hello. Nice little triple. Got a guy over here. You guy's weak. I died instantly. But yeah, that is probably the best gun in the game. You have a super fast fire rate, 50 damage to the body, I think 65 to 70 to the head. Yeah, very good hit fire and also very fast reload. It, it's just, you can't get any better than this. And I do hope to see a nerf soon because this gun is very uh, annoying to play against. But yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, letting you guys know what guns you guys should be using, just let me know down below in the comments. And by leaving a like, it would be much appreciated. Anyways, with that said, thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.